Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily angelic inspiration card reading for July 2nd, 2023. Let's see what we have going on here. Check the description box if you want to see any of my offerings, anything that I am up to. All right, including sessions with me. Kyanite Blue Letting Go. I said this before, I'll say it again if um, anybody missed it or you're new to this channel. Uh, normally I say blue kyanite. I swear, I wonder if this wasn't like not caught. I, I don't know. Who am I? I don't know anything. Um, blue, <laughs> blue kyanite, when you hold it, uh, just by holding it, you immediately clear out all of your chakras. Now, although that can be very helpful and it's kind of a quick thing, you still want to meditate with it because it, it, think of it as like your home is broom swept versus a deep clean. When you hold it, that's like broom sweeping your home. When you meditate with it and you do the full chakra balancing and healing and cleansing and all of that, it's like the deep clean, right? <laughs> so letting go is the big message here. And this is saying, I, I can't try to win against somebody who's just always, you know, we'll keep with the cleaning analogy. You get something clean, you get your energy clean, they feel like they're going to throw something at you. And I recently, in the past couple of weeks, have come across... Oh, this maniacal, like, I'm so sorry. She's just, if I sat here and told you the things that she has said, like gay men are okay, but she thinks lesbians are gross. Um, I just set about it because she snuck back into my life in like this weird kind of way. I found out what happened there, but whatever. Um, and when I set a boundary with her, of course she twisted everything and said that I had an, uh, an how'd she say, an inflated ego that you think I'd be spying on you get a life seriously and I'm like Ugh. immediately I just she's gross I mean she's just gross and there was a part of me that was like I'm so sick of her crap I'm she's gotten away with so much people don't even know what a terrible person she is like she's dark okay I know it sounds like you just don't like her then I hope you get to meet her okay I hope you become friends with her and then come on back to me and let me know how that goes. She's abusive, okay? Not just to me, but she was abusive to everybody in her life. But anyway, I found myself getting back into that hurt and that control that she once had me under. And then I was like, nah. Nah, forget her. Forget her. Karma has come for her swiftly. And that response she had to me it was just indicative of where she is. And so I got into a space of letting go. Yeah, it could be as stupid as that. It could be as messy as that, <laughs> right? But I will say what it's not. Letting go is not, you know what, I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to rise above. I'm not going to engage. You're fake. I hit my keyboard. You're fake. <laughs> is anybody scared? Do I seem intimidating at all? But we can't keep sidestepping like that. And honestly, when somebody says, I rise above, you're a narcissist. Okay. <laughs> it's truth. True. <laughs> Based on that, yep. Michelle, do you have a degree? Shut up. Okay. I have lived it. And I've had plenty of encounters in the work that I do and then trying to do my own healing with narcissistic therapists. I think those of us who have been through it deserve a voice. And we can, we can warn you about what to watch out for. Watch out for the spiritual sidestepper. That's not what we're talking about here. True, true, true spiritual work. Anyway, let's leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.